name's Wreck It Ralph. I'm gonna wreck it! 30 years I've been doing this. I can fix it! It's hard to love your job when no one else seems to like you for doing it. You're just the bad guy who wrecks the building. Ah! I'm okay. I'm okay. If I'm really honest with myself, sure must be nice being the good guy. Ralph, you are bad guy, but this does not mean you're bad guy. I don't want to be the bad guy anymore. I'll fix it, and I'll fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. He was, Ralph was about to fuck up everything. That's the exact quote from the movie. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, you know, they actually changed it from uh, uh, fucked up Ralph to fix it. <laughs> Felix, or whatever the fuck this shit is called. <laughs> What's it? What were we, we reviewing? Uh, Ralph? Uh, Ralph? Wreck, did you actually Ralph, watch the movie? Please. I mean, I know I was sitting there right next to you, but for you to say this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I did watch the movie, and as someone who loves video games, I both loved this movie, and I also had some problems with it. Yeah, well, I'm glad you say that because the first thing I have a, have a problem with is the title. Every time I say Wreck It Ralph, I, it's like I'm describing a porno. I mean, I, that, it's, just, it's just a porno. Oh, you've name seen that one too, then. Of a film. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's funny because for our video, yeah. we're actually making a reference to that. Seriously. Oh, really? That's, and that's, I'm sorry. Uh, and no, 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 no. I'm glad, no, I'm glad you said it because I was told. Because I would think that, and I was like, Cory, yeah. you nasty motherfucker. <laughs> Wait, it's a children's that. movie. You guys mean Wreck It like Wreck the Put? <laughs> no, no, oh, no. no like, wreck wreck like, that ass. Like, like, what do you think we're talking about? Yeah, Wreck That Ralph. Yeah, come on. You ain't got to go that far with it, man. Okay, sorry. How is that? better damn yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't that either. Leon, you really crossed the line there man <laughs> yeah. we're talking about children's movie right here Cause, cause i keep hearing record ralph like record except the way people will say you know you got well, record you, you, you buy a new record well leon that but would really recognize. make a suck-ass porn film wouldn't it <laughs> 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 no you, okay we are talking about a children's film yes, here we are. and the cool thing about this is that they've done and a lot of people are, were, are making this comparison because that's all I thought when I was watching this. This is the video game version of Roger Rabbit, which means there's going to be a lot of references in there that kids are not going to get. But it, it doesn't matter because I think those references make this movie a lot more entertaining, especially for the adults that go go see this movie. Damn, boy, I remember when I used to play Cubert. I see Cubert now. I'm like, fuck, I'm old, man. <laughs> Yeah. Fuck you, Cuban. And I, and I, I never realized how much that motherfucker curses throughout the entire movie. <laughs> like, Damn, potty mouth. I, I know that, that was an odd thing. Plus, the way Cuban's in this movie, it's like he's like Aqualung sitting on a park bench with a with a tin cup, hoping people put change in it. Speaking of old references, yeah, the kids don't understand. <laughs> no, yeah, I, see, the kids do get it. <laughs> yeah, but he's an old spirit. He's got his side. No, 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 no. But Brian, how you doing, man? I'm, I'm good. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, just check. Continue on. with your review of the movie. No, I would, and, and this is a, this is good because there's a you know, we have a varying degrees of generations here. Our it's people, true. And, and and man, you know the thing about video games is that this is this really is a movie. I, this is a movie that would take you back. And I remember when video games used to be kid stuff. Like no, I mean nobody. Whoever would have thought that adults would have played video games up yeah. into their forties and whatnot, and now if you it's are, because we live in a prosperous society where adults can't afford to do that, or even kids, they are working in the mines or bringing home the bacon. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, and, and there's also the fact that you know once the video games started leaving the arcades and becoming something you could do in the privacy of your home and not have to go hang out with a bunch of kids at an arcade, they're like the stigma of being an adult and playing video games wasn't as as palpable because it's like I can play this in my in my living room now. I don't have to go and Hang out at what is what could have been perceived as being a kids club. But they just yeah, yeah man, it made it hard on pedophiles. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, damn it, damn. How the fuck these home yeah. consoles, man? Can't pick up kids no more. No, that, that, well, just looking at all these characters, it is it, it is something where, man, you look at this now and you think game, video games really have come a long way because. Only old people are going to get half these references in the movie. That is true. I mean, watching watching it, I was really surprised how even in the movie, you know, the the setup is that all this is, is taking place in an arcade, and I'm like, I don't know any arcade standing besides the one that they just built here in Austin. Pinball, you know, like pinballs, which was a few years ago. But everywhere else around America, you ask a kid, "Hey, have you ever been to a pinball arcade or anything like that?" They probably have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. You know, you, you know what? Where, where those arcades exist. 
is that in skating rinks, there'll be like a little corner that'll have those games. If you go to Six Flags, they have a sad little arcade there that has some of those old games. Or you get a retro place like Pinballs. But it's always in some kind of old, like, Chuck E. Cheese sort of... Well, even Chuck E. Cheese has the more advanced games. But it'll be some place like that that's a knockoff in a podunk town and a little corner. And you're like, wow, they never updated their machine. Why no. do skating rinks always smell like that coat that you've left in a closet for two or three years? Because <laughs> what you is actually, that? I think you actually people actually left their coats there. Uh, <laughs> oh, you know what? It's because they left their kids there. Yeah. Okay. Right. It's, the, it's the Lysol. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I mean, I know it's not saying much in and, and just by proxy, this is the best video game movie out there. I know it ain't hard to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's being yeah. damned with faint praise. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I mean it. With Silent Hill and Resident yeah. Evil. Yeah. 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 I, I, there's not a lot of competition out there. I will not hear you speak ill of Street Fighter the movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, you will. Oh, I don't, you I, know what? I don't have to speak ill. That movie is ill. <laughs> I, I will say this is Chung Lee's first really good movie that she's actually in. Yeah, it is. That she, that she makes like a brief cameo. Well, I think there's a, there's even, there's a suggestion that Ken and Ryu are, are, are lovers, which I think is funny. <laughs> yeah. They, yeah, they did kind of walk out of there like, you know, I think I saw Ken on Ryu's ass, his yeah. hand on his ass or something when walking out. Put, hey, yo, Ken, whoa. He put, hey, yo, oh, 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 shit, man. He put, he put a quarter in his ass. Is that what yeah. Yeah. That's what he calls a sonic boom. Yeah. It's, another, it's another one of those movies that, I, that, that makes me feel bad, too, because as if I don't have enough anxiety about non-existent characters and in, 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 inanimate objects because after seeing Toy Story I'm I think that everything in my house talks now when I leave <laughs> and I don't want to mistreat it like, I, don't, I don't want to throw shit away and now I'm going to think that fuck I can't ever get rid of a game console now because <laughs> there's come people out living you? in there yeah. you're, you're going to go you're going to go blow on your yeah. old game cartridges and plug them back in if well they, tenderly and he has to buy them dinner yeah for I was about you. to say if they pay me enough <laughs> good <laughs> luck with that if it will make them feel better then I sure will but this, this for the most part, I think works. This movie here, I, I, I did enjoy it. I, I was a little disappointed on thumbs, on some things that they didn't follow through with, but we'll get in, into that later. But here we have John C. Riley as Wreck It Ralph, who is getting tired of playing, playing a bad guy. I mean, we, we, we think about villains in games, and we don't think about the feelings they have. Wait, are you talking about arcade. John C. Riley? Are you talking about Wreck It Ralph? Both. both yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can easily say both. Yeah, they're kind of the same the whole person. Time, I was like, man, Boy, bo- John C. Riley, he's always got to play a sad sack. They're yeah. both really fucking old, and they're both going through an identity crisis. Yeah, right yeah. and I think they both fuck shit up sometimes. <laughs> he's got, you know? And his, in his life, he's got Will Ferrell taking him up to the roof and just throwing him the fuck yeah. off. Yeah. I, I heard uh, that John C. Riley is very clumsy. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I, I mean, really, looking at Wreck-It Ralph, I'm like, you guys, I guess you couldn't do this live action, but... You could have if you wanted to. Yeah, no, Wreck It Ralph, man. He's he's he just gave us some insight. When people leave the arcade, you know, villains have feelings too. And Wreck It Ralph said, "Man, you know, I'm I'm really popular. I make this game, but goddamn, when 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 the people leave the arcade, everybody who loves Fix It Felix and the, the, the game that he's in is is a, a spoof on Donkey Kong Junior. Mm. And Fix It Felix Felix is the hero. And Fix It Felix gets through with everything. You know, everybody loves him. They throw a party for him, and he goes up to his to, to his apartment in a penthouse. Yeah, yeah and, and he invites all the girls and, and, and the, the guys over. And they have a big party. And meanwhile, Ralph is like, "Well, damn, man, I I got to go sleep in a pile of bricks by myself. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants me around. Everybody jumps out my way and." Wreck-It Ralph just says, you know what? He went. He didn't get, didn't get invited to the 30th anniversary party of Fix-It Felix. And he says, okay, you know, I'm going to go out and I'm going to be a good guy. I'm going to prove to people that I can be a good person. And so he decides to, in order to do that, he has to jump his game. And not on, that not only puts himself in danger, but it puts a lot of other video game worlds in danger too. So I, now this is one of the games that he goes into. This is my problem with the, with the movie. And he goes into a lot of different games. One I think is is uh, pretty amazing. He goes into a first person shooter, which is uh, what was it? Heroes Duty. Yeah, Heroes, Heroes Duty, Duty. <laughs> where yeah. Jane Lynch plays sort of a uh, uh, sort of a Master Chief. Uh, well, a bossy pseudo yeah. lesbian, but, butch lesbian chicken. <laughs> Wait, now are we again, about Jane Lynch. Are we talking about this character? Again, we're talking about both. <laughs> and, and that that is kind of cool. When when he goes there, it really does it does a great riff on. On, uh, on on video games, but when he goes into Sugar Rush, which is a racing game that takes place in a candy world, all of a sudden they ease back on all of the the video game references that I think made the game strong, and it becomes 
it really becomes Candyland, the movie. It's a bunch of puns about candy. Yeah. And they really depart away from the games. What's your, what's your problem with it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, well, you don't I, like puns? I don't understand. I, I, okay. Yeah, okay. This, it this, gets stupid. This movie was clearly made for you in, like, in, in You're every speaking aspect. Greek to me right now. I don't really understand what you're complaining about. Because I, I was even kind of tiring of the puns when it was just the video game stuff. Like, when it comes on, even con- conceptually, I was like, I know what I came in here for, but... This is once again going back into that old Pixar world of like, hey, we're taking bugs and we're anthropomorphizing them. And, and look at all these, these puns we got going here. And I was like, yeah, it's this again. All right, Sour Patch. Like, and, I, and I, it's kind of cool that it's video games. But, yeah, by the time it got to candy, I'm like, all right, I'm starting to get a toothache. I think where the problem really is is that being, you know, of, of course, you know, us evolving with games, I mean – we know all these references that they're that they're referring to, yet these aren't the characters that should be making those references. Like, like I thought the entire movie was like, well, too bad Nintendo just couldn't get their Super Mario Kart I know. movie out there because I was just too busy going, okay, yeah, this is a knockoff of, of Candyland and all that. But I miss the familiar characters. I know these new ones that they're trying to get you to identify with in a certain way. They are generic. In, yeah. in, in a sense, as far as just the models of you know what they're sort of based on, yet I was like, man, I have a feeling this would have worked a lot more if they would have just introduced the entire Mario world, you know, all the other video games that you're so familiarized with, and make it like a Toy Story in a way, you well, know, you, give these characters, give give them some more information uh, uh, about their characters, at least give the audience more information about who they are, what it's like being these games that we're already, you know, we're we're already uh, uh, used to the, these worlds, and why don't they just like make it make it easy for the audience and everyone else just by you know having well they didn't want to they, they didn't want to well they didn't want to uh they didn't want to get involved that involved with other people's properties they want because that's the great thing about the first 30 minutes of the movie is that <clears throat> it is like roger rabbit and that they introducing tons of cameos mm-hmm. of video game characters and i was actually impressed with some of the stuff they they had done uh, right they they have uh, they even there's, a, there's even a joke i want to ruin it but there is a there's even a, a mortal Kombat character that does a mortal Kombat yes! joke yeah. that i thought what they would never have done in a kid's movie mm-hmm. and, and being that thing to shy away from that i thought okay this is everything maybe i'm too much of a gamer because that is what i want to see yeah no see but that's what i liked about it is it, to me, it would have been pandering if it's just like, or or at worst, would have been the the uh, Friedberg and Seltzer, Seltzer method, which is just like, oh, remember that? Look at that! And, but it's not. They actually go into the mechanics of these characters, like the actual way that these characters move and function in their games, also makes a cameo. Like there's a scene where where Sonic is just in the background and somebody nudges him. And and rings come flying. Yeah, <laughs> and it's not in the middle of the shot. It's not even the joke of that scene. It's just in the background. And I'm like, wow, they took the time to not only put Sonic in the movie, but to actually know how he functions and the rules of his world and bring that into this movie, even in this small way. I was like, all right, yeah, they, I like they, that. They even played a level of Sonic to, to know to make yes. rings pop out of him. <laughs> and, and, but you know, they, they go as far as. Uh, there's a there's a guy who used to be a video game. He's a guy that used to own this arcade called Twin Galaxies, and they made they modeled a character after the referee him with a referee guy. Yeah, yeah his name was uh, Walter Walter Day, I believe. Yes. But uh, yeah, the, so I knew it from the beginning. When I saw his character, I was like, okay, these guys know their shit. Looking at the background, because there's yeah. so much going on in the background, you can't even like pay attention to it all because it's moving so fast. But when you're introduced to the Wreck It Ralph crew i actually like those guys i was like okay this is this is slowly building up to a cool story yet it seemed like the middle of it just seemed to i don't know it did teeter off of the reason why is because well i do like those record ralph people too the little Mm -hmm. yeah the record ralph people yeah those assholes that lived in that yeah they they were a bunch of assholes man oh they they, they totally (laughs) were (laughs) yeah they were those those are the people that we talk that we are talking about that threw a party didn't want ralph in Mm -hmm. there and they they just just vibed him out like yeah ralph we having a, a party uh I, What's up? I guess you want to stay. Yeah, What's there up? was no reason to keep Ralph at that party, man. Well, I mean, once he walked in and started tearing shit up. Well, he was tearing shit up, but <laughs> yep, they had invited him more often. He would have known where to watch his head and yeah. where He's to walk. He's not called life of the party, Ralph. Corey. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm man. surprised there was no interaction between him or, or Donkey Kong. It's like, man, dude, how do you do it? Everyone praises you. You're well, the he, king he is game. Donkey Kong. Yeah. Pretty much. That's well, he the, is, but yeah, I'm, he's a riff on. He's yeah, he's kind of a riff on Donkey Kong. But I mean, but, but but to that point, I am disappointed that there wasn't a, a point where they had to themselves go like, oh wow, we were kind of being dicks in this situation. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I didn't look. I didn't mind any of that. In fact, I like the way those characters move. The little, mm-hmm. little oh yeah, yeah. They, Felix people because they they even had limited movements whenever they would do <laughs> yeah. something. It kind of became it kind of creeped me out after a while, but I still loved it. <laughs> it was strange, yet 
it worked. I love the guy who was working at the bar. Uh, I guess he reminded me of Burger Time. I didn't oh, know Tapper? if that was. Yeah, oh, you talking about the game Tapper? Tapper? I've never played Tapper. Oh, I no. played it a lot. But it reminded. But I the, played it in a real bar with real drinks. <laughs> yeah, 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 I always yeah. win. <laughs> right, I'm with you on that. I've done that. But yeah, I got I the could, high score. I guess bitch. I missed no, you out. You got thrown yeah. out. Yeah, that's what I mean. I was too busy paying attention to Burger Time. I guess. But yeah, but that that whole interaction was real cleverly done. The way that that's where I really noticed the movements, and uh, I was like, man, this is this is fucking well, cool. See, that's another thing about the beginning of the game is because they incorporated all these different styles. The, the character of Tapper, kids, go look it up. God damn it, <laughs> yeah, I will. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> what's Tapper? God damn it. <laughs> or you can spend that time learning about real things. Yeah, no, go look up Tapper. No, no, I don't no. want you to learn about real things. <laughs> <laughs> no, the 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 character of Tapper, he moved. Like a stop motion character, and I'm su- I'm su- pretty sure it was still CG, but he, you know, they they seem to incorporate all these different styles. But when they got to Sugar Rush, and I hate to keep harping on it because I don't hate it, I actually thought it was pretty cute and pretty endearing at some points. But when they got to that point, that's where they seemed to say, "All right, we really have to pander to the kids' audience to to get that kind of demographic in here to like this movie." And that's again, that's where they shied away from all the strong stuff that I thought was making a clever video game movie, which. Which I, I don't think is a, it's not terrible. So I don't want anybody to sit up here saying, "Well, you just I hate you, you don't you're you, right. you just no, hate you're sugar right. rush. So get over it, man." No, so you right. just hated it, huh? No, yeah, no, 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 no. no. Why no, do you no. hate kids? <laughs> Oh, Silver, Sarah, Why do you Silver, suck? Sarah Silverman is what Van, Vanellope von Sch- uh, Schitz Schweetz. or whatever <laughs> von Schweetz and annoying voice. She, yes. I, I like the idea behind the character. Wait, hold on. So she's a snarky, pseudo annoying little <laughs> troublemaker. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and also there's her. this character name. Uh, again, yeah. is, are we talking about Sarah Silverman? Are we talking about yeah. the stunt casting von in this movie? Is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> they got, what's his name? Jack McBrayer play, right. playing the weird bumpkin. Oh yeah. 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 Again, yeah. crazy stunt. Oh, casting. Jack McBrayer is yeah. Felix uh, fi- Fix It Felix yeah. Junior. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I I really liked his character too. I Sa- liked it. Sarah Silverman. I, she annoyed me at first, but as it went on, I. I kind of like that character. It's, she plays a, a nine-year-old uh, uh, video game character who has a glitch. And she, it, and because she has a glitch, everybody's like, keep that bitch away from me, man. Look, you want that medal, right? And I want a race. So here's what I'm thinking. You help me get a new cart, a real cart, and I'll win the race and get you back your medal. You want me to help you? All you got to do is break something for me. Come on, what do you say? Friend, we are not friends. Ah, oh, come on, pal, you son of a gun. Go on, buddy, but shake on it. Ah, oh, come on, Jumbo. Ralph, my man, my main man. Hey, my arm's getting tired. We have a deal or not? Ah, you better win. You know, she, well, she she grows on you as as soon as they fill you in on the backstory of her, which takes a while. To actually get to it, seemed, it, it seemed like that to me. Uh, well, she's kind of a little, if I may say, glitch bitch. But she, <laughs> no, she's kind of a little bitch. No, that's that's the thing. It's like yeah. her glitch, I could get over, but that fucking attitude it got on my goddamn nerves. But you feel sorry for her because in that I, world, I did feel sorry for her, but it didn't take her long to make me go back to going like. Okay, but I still don't like you. Yeah, well, I liked that. Well, maybe it's because I saw how everybody else was treating her like shit in that world <laughs> yeah. so, because she had a glitch and everybody just made fun of it. I, I didn't mind that part. I just think that there were so many great ideas going on, great ideas going on in that, in, when they were centering on the video game humor that when it got into uh, the Sugar Rush, it, while it wasn't bad, I just don't think it was that strong. I have to admit, though, the, one of my favorite characters in this was Fix It. Uh, I wish I could remember the guy... Uh, who did the voice? He's on third. The guy that we just mentioned. Right I, ne- I, could ne- I never talked know. About two it. seconds ago. I guys, never know. Guys, he respawned since we last yeah. talked about that. <laughs> Damn it! That's my glitch. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Go on with your second life, go on. <laughs> Somebody popped another quarter in him. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, I just, yeah, just had my mushroom start. Uh, Your actor is in another is in another TV show. But, but his uh, um, his character in there, I thought once him and the uh, um, the the duty chick, uh, the the, sure. the lesbian chick, got together, 
I was I was having a lot of fun watching their characters where I wanted like a spin-off almost after the movie. I wanted to see more of them interacting with each other cuz they were uh, they became my second favorite part of the movie. <laughs> You're right about that. Yeah. And man, I'm not making fun of you. You were actually I find this endearing. You're actually making us laugh over here cuz cuz all these are people that we just talked about a while ago. like oh, and, oh and, that, and that person and that, that one guy. Well, what's making me laugh is you referred to her as the duty chick and I'm about 4 years old it turns out and I thought that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> Oh, duty that's, shit. That yeah. just happens to be my com- comedic styling. Yeah. Son. <laughs> You're playing to your target audience yeah. right now. <laughs> Adults with the sensibilities of four year olds. The thing is, I, I, when he said duty chick, I thought he was talking about the nine year old. No. But that'll be my sweet no, you, so you have to pay attention. Yes, I was <laughs> fucking <laughs> different duty <laughs> shit. No, but just. It's like I, an R. Kelly video in here. <laughs> but, but those characters, I love those. Like, that's where I'm like, okay, the writing is good because yeah. they are. I mean, I already feel like I'm familiar with these guys. Like, I've been playing their games forever. But, I mean, like you said, I, I can't blame you. Because as soon as they got into that candy world, it, it turned into, like, I hate, I hate to say this, like in Star Wars Episode One, where they get to the pod racing and you realize, all right, let's – this is for all the yeah. kids. Yeah, it's let's, like, can you guys get do, this, do, do just yeah. one thing different with this? Yeah. No, you can't. All See, right. I, 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 I disagree. And the, the reason I disagree is that – I like the way they they address the fact that you know Ralph lives in this eight bit game this this very kind of archaic world in terms of video games, and then he's jumping over mm-hmm. to Hero Duty, which is a modern type of first person shooter. Mm-hmm. And the line that he has that that's so uh, indicative of the spirit they're going for is he goes, "When did games become so uh, become so scary?" Mm-hmm. And it's like you realize that they're addressing the generational gap between video games. And it's like they could either go from there, go back to an 8-bit game that would put him back in his comfort zone, which doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. Or they could go to another first-person shooter, which would be boring. So it's like, how do we go – how do we introduce this character who's basically like a cutesy little character and still in a modern game that's not like Heroes Duty? And I felt like that's that's the reason for – all the kind of uh, fantastical set design and the, and the candy stuff is just it's opposite of Heroes Duty, but still right. a new enough game that Ralph would be out of his comfort. I, I just didn't think there's enough. He's in Heroes Duty on. for such a sh- short period of time, and for me, like the, the the little time he spent in Heroes Duty, it peaked for me at that because I was I was digging oh. that, and that he left to go to the uh, Candyland or uh, Sugar Town, whatever it's called. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, that's a strip joint you go to. Oh, yeah. no, no. <laughs> But yeah, all that, it didn't take long before I was like, huh, um, I wonder where he's going to go next. And it's like, oh, this is it. Well, I, dang. I, I, I really, I started to zone out for a while. And because well, as much as you love those other two characters, mm-hmm. there's a point where I forgot they were in the movie and I didn't miss them. Because cause it would just cut back to them for, for hijinks where I was like, okay, this, this, I, I, I'm, I'm not liking Vanellope, but then... Uh, the story with her and Ralph takes a turn that went, you know, in the third act where I was like, whoa, okay, now that's actually genuinely dramatic. And mm-hmm. na- na- okay, now I'm now I'm back in it now. I'm I'm invested. I want to want to see where this goes. It, it's it's got something. But uh, yeah, those other two characters are just kind of there to to. to I, I feel like they were just there to fill time. Really, I I, I didn't feel that. Um, but as far as the whole candy uh, Candyland thing, yeah, I just thought there it seemed a bit predictable. Like the, all yeah. those characters, you kind of you knew where that storyline was heading, and I think that's probably what was the real well, that's, problem. Like I said, that's the most kid friendly part of the movie. It takes up a large chunk. Can I? And I'm gonna be that. I'm gonna be that nerd that people hate that that I even hate. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, cause I'm gonna, I am going to nitpick. You're a self-hating here. nerd? Yeah, yeah, deep, That's unhealthy, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> deep down inside, yes. You give yourself a wedgie? Yeah. <laughs> Every day. All right. I lock myself in a locker. <laughs> <laughs> How am I going to get out of here? <laughs> you know, some people have S&M. I just lock myself in a locker. <laughs> Somebody come and release me every day. <laughs> or some, or some people are just crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Let me out. I'm having flashbacks of that scene in Pulp Fiction. I don't like it. Can just you, keep him in the box. Can you actually give me a wedgie, Brian? I'll give you the safe word if you can. <laughs> Stop it! <Wow. laughs> I, I love that this is a kid's review. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I like the way they start as a kiss review where Leon says, wreck it. <laughs> wreck that. P- like wrecking inside I, the. P- I'm sorry. sorry. I think you guys brought up as a porno movie first. It, but we were clean well, with it. Yeah, <laughs> How do you not expect yeah. this from us at this point? I yeah. Don't <laughs> yeah, don't bring your kids into this world sorry. right here. No, I, I, if I can just. And I am going to nitpick, and I'm not holding it against the movie. I'm just going to say this just to get it out because it's something that bothered me. And I usually. Yeah, keep get up that on your nerd box. Let's do it. Yeah, but. Okay. What I did not like as a nerdy video game player is that Vanellope is in a racing game. 
but yet they have this whole world like it's a, like it's a game that you play where you can't climb certain branches because they'll they'll pop or they have all these the chocolate I, the, the I, chocolate river you know? I don't think that's a nitpick at all because the way that started for me when it flipped into a racing game I was like what? So why you why, why, have, why, yeah. what was this other stuff here? They have all these other physics like like it's an adventure game or something but it's just a simple racing game. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I, 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 I never, got nothing for you. Yeah, I, I, I get you're right. Never you're get right. Car. Okay, so I'm not too. I'm not being no, too no, nitpicky here no, about that. No. I don't know, but I think by that logic, you would also have to ask why are there cocktail bars in the upper floors of a building that no gamer, no player is ever going to see. Tron started that. Yeah, that's Tron's fault. <laughs> <laughs> don't look at me. That's Tron. <laughs> I tell you what, though. I mean, like I said, I really do like. I really do like the movie a lot. I, even. With this Vanellope von Schweetz girl, I think you're right. With their, in the third act, and, and throughout the whole thing, as, as her and uh, Ralph start to build a relationship, I like that. I mean, if you're going to make it a kid's part of the movie, at least make – kids love that whole sense of friendship thing. And that, that's the part of a, of a, of a kid's tale that, that I liked a lot. I like Ralph. I love Ralph. Yeah, yeah. Ray I, I liked him quite a bit. Yeah. I, it, yeah. And – and throughout the movie, I mean, don't don't let me make it sound like the movie is, is void of of any clever references throughout the whole. Um, uh, um, yeah, for the rest of the movie, outside of that thirty minutes, I'm so fond of at the beginning. I mean, it's it's scattered throughout the whole movie. I just think there's points where it's stronger than than others. But yeah, I man, I like this. I like this enough to to give it a a, a high matinee because I think, I mean, you know. Kids are gonna, kids are gonna love it, mm. and and there's some people who this is going to be enough. I mean, all the stuff that I'm talking about, sugar rush and all that, that's me. I think there's a lot of people who are going to be able to overlook that and say, hey, it worked just fine for myself. Well, I think the the key word you just used was enough, and there is enough there for people to like, but I I was disappointed that it didn't go over a, a, enough. I mean, as much you know, I played the video games too, but I guess I wasn't in love. With them, so I'd see these characters pop on and do their thing. And I was like, "Oh, well, that's kind of cute," but I didn't have that that warm, fuzzy feeling. Like, "Oh, look at look, 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 look what he's doing! He just, he just did that thing." Um, and so, sounds like my grandmother. Yeah. Yeah, 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 nostalgia is not in your vocabulary. Yeah, this nostalgia just wasn't it, it wasn't doing it for me. So, just watching it as a movie itself, I'm like, "Well, it's 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 a lot stronger in the beginning. I like the motivations where it starts." But then it goes to a place where I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm sort of not caring that much. I'm surprised it's skewed to such a young audience, considering that it's dealing with characters for an older audience. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm sure kids will like, like it because it's, hey, it's, it's colorful and, and everything, but it's not the characters they know. And th the thing about the movie for me is that like it just kept, at every turn, it kept playing it safe. It's like I'm playing a, a game with cheat codes because I don't have to worry about anything dangerous happening or anybody really have any consequences, it's all going to work out fine. You know what? That problem, later, it, don't worry about that. Like, everything's going to be fine. It's, it's, it's all, it's, it's all going to work out. And so I just didn't feel like there was any real consequences. Like I was just, it was, just came a point where I was like, well, I'm watching something really pretty on the screen. I know kids will dig it. And, you know, and you guys who love those video game characters will love it. For me, it's just, it's just a plain matinee. I want to scream spoiler alert, but I decided not to just because I didn't want to interrupt this flow. So. But I know I know exactly where <laughs> yeah. the spoiler strikes, yeah. and I will have to have Mandy Savage okay. take it out again. Okay. But, but I was gonna, I was thinking the same thing. Okay. I said he's gonna be mad at me, <laughs> but I I'm just gonna keep it to myself. I think anytime I start flirting with spoilers, I'm just gonna start screaming them so that when we bleep them out, it sounds like I went on this crazy tirade <laughs> that wasn't suitable. You know for what the I'm airways. talking about, co-host. You yes, know what I'm I saying. Do. I do. I do. That's I don't know. For me, it's not I, a big deal. This is the kind of movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not it's not difficult for me to see how someone could look at this trailer and go oh that's a Pixar movie because it's it's dealing with a lot of the same themes as Pixar and I don't think that's an accident I think it's Disney trying to look at what works for Pixar and and try and emulate that and have to. It, it, using an emulator as yeah. it were um, <laughs> but the thing because for example it's it's about perspective it's about taking T looking, you know, looking at things from the other side of the glass. In this case, very literally, and not only that, but giving it's it's animation, animation. They're literally animating or bringing to life, uh, you know, something, you know, like like what Toy Story did with toys. This is doing with video game characters and creating worlds and rules and mechanics for them that that don't really exist, but are going to great lengths to kind of solidify that universe. And I really appreciated that. I will say that I wish there had been more game jumping. I don't have necessarily the same problems you guys do with the Sugar Rush game. 
I just would have liked to have seen more of the games at the arcade. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Maybe I, maybe I thought they just spent too much time there, and I thought they were going to actually do more. Did, uh, they were going to jump into more video game worlds. Well, that's 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 what the marketing is kind of selling us on because the the words game jump are such a big deal, such a key phrase in all of the trailers that it made me think that they were going to go to more games, and I was a little bit disappointed. But really, that's 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 the kind of like armchair filmmaking type of criticism where it's like, I would have done this or I would have done that. Sure. The choices that they made, I think, work far more often than they don't. I think it's extremely clever. <laughs> I really like the characters in it, and I was laughing almost all the way through. And, and the, the what, what put the, the bow on it for me is the little thing after the credits. So if you do see this movie, definitely stay after the credits, especially if you're a gaming nerd. Um, I, I think this movie gets a it's a it's a low but it's it's a definite full price for me. Yeah, as, as far as you were talking about the jumping of the games, I think that's that's pretty much what I wanted. I mean, that's why I wanted to make the the reference to uh, uh, all the video game personalities they find. Where I was hoping that they go into more games, getting introduced to characters, like ma- to make it seem like a really well rounded universe with all these games that we're so familiar. Because it's like it seems like you see a bunch of toys in a toy box, but they only take like about five of them out of the box to play with. <laughs> Yet you have all these other toys that you're you're so familiar with and you're so dying ooh, to know about. What you going to do with that? Yeah, ooh, Metroid. Oh, oh, look, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, so It's I, like going I to the neat that. freak kid's house. It's yeah. like, why would you only pull five of them out? Dump the fucking yeah, exactly. box. Exactly. Dump the whole fucking Your box. Your mom will clean it up and let's play. But they didn't you, they, you make it sound like you wanted to see Resident Evil coming in this I game. See, <laughs> but they had they practically had Resident Wait, Evil in yeah, the movie. Yeah. Where's uh, where's Leisure Suit Larry? Yeah, I know. All that. Where's Slenderman? Yeah. They're all my favorite yeah. arcade to my They couldn't get Grand Theft Auto, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, I would love, oh, they could. Fucking Ralph's worry. driving along. Somebody punches him and, like, rapes him and throws him out of the car. Yeah. Like, what beats the fuck? Yeah, leaves him in an alley for dead somewhere. <laughs> well, I, I mean. It's you, motherfucker. There, there's so much to play with, and I thought they were, you know, barely, you know, ba- they, they barely got the quarter in as far as, you know, to, to, let me really have a, to really let me explore that world. But for, but the world they did give me, I actually did enjoy a lot. I mean, yeah, we're. we're we are. I mean, I'll I'll say it. I feel like I'm I'm nitpicking a lot with that with that whole Candyland Mario Kart world. But I mean, but that's really. I mean, it, it, that's where it felt. It, it's it started to really like take its time, and it wasn't really doing much for me because maybe because I wanted to see more worlds, wanted to see those characters interact with more people, you see them get into more crazy hijinks, and that just wasn't happening throughout the first part. But the third part is so strong though that it it, it kind of made me forget about those. those really, issues. the third part? Yeah, yeah. I thought the third part was really strong with me, um, and uh, you know, I still had a lot of fun. Uh, I hope kids. I'm real curious to see what kids, you know, think about this movie. I would love to ask kids, little kids going, hey, what would you think? He's like, I don't know what the fuck was going on. I don't know who those characters are or what's going on. Because, I mean, yeah, that this movie speaks to more of, like, the older generation than the younger one, I, I, I thought. But <clears throat> I think the characters are likable enough, but I just wish they went more in the Toy Story route with them. And I, yeah, and I feel you know. like when you do one of these movies like a Roger Rabbit or a Toy Story, like, you got to spend the money and get the licensed properties. They did. They do. Well, but, but, more but, of like, them. Like, more of them. <laughs> yeah. Like, you, you, can't, you can't go halfway because then you end up feeling like, well, yeah, but there was all these other things I wanted to see. I feel see. like this is the geek version of if you give a mouse a cookie because they gave us a few characters and we're so happy to see them. And I, I agree with you, but I'm starting to think, man, I'm a greedy motherfucker. Like, oh, yeah, Sonic, and, and that's awesome. And more! Give me more of them! Yeah, that's yeah. where I agree with you, Brian. Yeah. These, these two greedy asses right no, here. I, I, no, I agree <laughs> with us. Yeah, I agree. I wanted, I wanted no, to see you, more you of them, not. but now I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> reflecting and thinking... Wow, I'm really kind of being a dick to this movie. <laughs> and that's where you agree no. with me. Well, they're, they're, <laughs> well, they're video game icons that you expect to see. The king, the, the, the reason why we play video games like Mario, you know, you could name a dozen. I, yeah. I wanted to see those guys in full front and center. But, you know, hey, I, I didn't get that so what. But that's why I'm giving it a, a matinee. Yeah. You know? and, they, and, and they could have got Mario. They, they uh, easily yeah. could have. I, I know some Come people on. say that Mario would have been expensive. But if Mickey Mouse had gone over there and said, hey, you're going to be in Wreck-It Ralph. No, we got no. deep pockets, yeah. huh? <laughs> yeah. 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 You're going to be in Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah. Oh, Mo- okay. Mo- Mario, they could have got. Mario, I don't know. If they uh, he's <laughs> expensive as hell. I I <laughs> yeah, you, know, you know what? I know everybody the way things are going, Han Solo will be in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> I know everybody jumps on me about that because I say Mario like Oreo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I can't even say it, right? So, you know who was good that I failed to mention? Who's that? Uh, Alan Tudyk. 
who was the king, oh, yeah. the king of, of, of Sugar Rush. Doing yeah. an amazing Andy oh. Dick impression. But what, what character is that? What actor is that it's Ed Wynn. doing? Ed Wynn. Yeah, is that Ed? Ed? No, it's not Ed Wynn. No, it is. No, it is. It's, it is. it's the it's Mary Ed. Poppins character who can't stop laughing and is on the ceiling. Mm-hmm. That's exact, That's Ed Wynn. That's exactly Brian what he's doing. Brian is right. Listen okay. to Brian. He's like, you, I can't get down because I'm stuck on the <laughs> oh, ceiling. I, 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 I can't do that voice every day. The mayor in the Powerpuff Girls cartoon. That oh, girls. Everyone. I love my pickles. The city of Townsville. Everyone rips it off. Everyone rips it off. I thought it was the guy who keeps the gate at the Emerald City in the Wizard of Oz. Right. You're wrong. Oh, Corey, yeah, you're yeah, completely yeah. wrong. <laughs> what are now, we doing? I, no, I don't know what. I have no idea. That was kind of a Barney Fife. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I tell you what. If they make a sequel, you think they're gonna make a sequel? Because if they do, oh, this movie's gonna make a shit ton of quarters. So yes, I uh, think yeah, they're gonna hope, they're gonna do yeah. a sequel. I hope yeah. so. No, I I I would love to see. Wreck It Ralph and Fix It Felix going to other movies. Now, you know, I love to see them go to Silent Hill, the movie, and fix that. Fix the last one. Fix It Felix, he's only got so much power. Yeah, 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 he's only got so many lives. <laughs> well, let's close out with the bad guy affirmation. I am bad. <laughs> and that's good. I will never be good. Oh, no, 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 no. And that's, that's not bad. bad. All that thought. There's, There's no one I'd rather, rather be than me. me. Hey! I fix everything I touch. It's make your mama's proud time. I love my mama. Oh, good. The cops. Hold still. Take that. What are you doing? One game at a time, Ralph. 